I traveled to Italy not knowing what I would see nor photograph. I brought my SX70 camera along with an adapter so I could use the Brooklyn film camera instant optic filter and this one is the split prism that's attached to my camera and it was interesting because I was experimenting and I was in a location that I dreamt for the longest time and it has been on my bucket list of places to go and that is Cinque Terre in Italy which translates to five lands and I'm here to show and share with you my results. Due to the weather and the temperature, it definitely left a color cast on the film. And instead of having warmer tones, it leaned more to cooler tones, which I wasn't really crazy about. I think we need the wide. You want to mount the wide? Yeah. And I also brought other attachments for my SX70, such as the wide angle, which gave me more variety in my shots, so I wasn't so limited or restricted with how I wanted to compose the photo. We then visited Pisa, which is infamously known for having the Leaning Tower. And I've never seen this landmark in person. So it was a bit jarring to see it finally in real life. And I brought the SX70 again with the split prism. And I honestly just literally based off of different factors such as the sunlight, thinking about the timing because there were tourists everywhere, and then just being able to focus correctly because my eyesight, to be honest, is not the greatest. I really challenged myself to be able to take a great portrait. However, with instant photography, you never know how it's actually going to turn out with the different variables and so I'm just really glad that in the end I was able to capture these monumental landmarks as the way how the results turned out to be and that's all that I could truly ask for. The next place that we visited was the city of Venice which is another dream of mine to visit in real life and to see all the canals and the boats and the gondolas. It was just so many things to capture and eight photographs in a Polaroid camera is definitely not enough to capture the city's entire beauty. And it literally is a street photography galore because there's just so many different things that you could possibly capture with your camera. and. It's just endless and that's something that was very fun to try to maneuver through the different alleyways and try to figure out what to capture with the limited amount of film that I have. I was fortunate that it was a sunny day that I was able to capture Polaroids with great lighting. Can I take a portrait of you? I'm trying to see the light. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Thank you. And with also using now the vortex prism from the instant optics that Brooklyn Film Camera has, it has this circular round effect that gives a halo on the portrait of people that I've been capturing so that was nice to see a difference compared to the split prism that I was using originally. 
On day two of Venice, we decided to ride a ferry boat to the island of Murano, which is known for creating glassworks and also having colorful houses on the island. And we just wanted to explore and see what it's all about. And because of what it's known for, we thought that it would be a great idea to photograph there. And so I would say that it's a more laid back version of Venice, canals at least, without the gondolas. And here I saw this man across the canal because he had yellow sunglasses and a coat and I asked for his portrait and he was just hanging there enjoying the sun and so I'm thankful that he let me capture his photograph. Away from the sun. We literally then came across a lovely couple that I just recognized from afar that was super sweet and wherever we went they just happened to be around and so I finally had the momentum and the courage to ask if I could capture their photograph with the Vortex instant optic filter attached to the SX70 and then I always feel that it's important that if I ask someone for permission to take their portrait I always exchange and ask any information about a way to send them the photo because I feel like the fact that they cooperated and contribute to my creativity that it's only right for them to also get a copy of the photo but you never know you end up meeting new friends and you can keep in touch that way We then took a train ride to the city of Florence, where Francesco hosts tours with Polaroid cameras. And as you go around the city, you are able to take photos and he gives you facts about different places along the route. And so because I've heard so much about this, I finally wanted to experience this in person and instead of just reading reviews on Airbnb or Viator or any of these websites where you could schedule to do the tour. It was interesting to finally be there and ask him if he could treat me as someone he would meet for the first time and then explain how a Polaroid camera works and give me the experience that many people for the past years got to enjoy and experience with him and luckily for me I didn't have to know too much about using a Polaroid camera and I also got to use my SX-70 instead of just a regular point and shoot Polaroid camera and this was a good way for him to show me around because the route is already created and so true story I had a hard time photographing people. I would ask and I would get rejected and so I ended up capturing a photo of a pigeon. And I told myself it was better than nothing. And the pigeon cooperated, it didn't fly away. So it is what it is. Sometimes you just have to figure out ways to just take a photo, even if it's not exactly how you wanted it to be. And then as we went around the city, in the end, I was fortunate enough to meet this lovely woman who is definitely fashionable. She stood out and there was no way that I could not get a portrait of her. And so luckily it does help that Francesco speaks Italian and can make the woman feel comfortable. And then she allowed me to take a portrait of her. So super thankful.
I want to end the video by saying a big thank you to each and every one of you who took the time to follow the journey of me bringing an SX70 camera all the way to Italy, which actually is where it came from. And I want to say a big thank you to Brooklyn Film Camera for letting me use the instant optic filters. And if you like the results, you can go on their website to go check it out. And I also want to say a big thank you to Francesco for showing me around Italy, which is where he's from. It was my first time there. And for him to help me also to film this video, I honestly am super grateful. And again, stay tuned for the next videos that are about to come out from this trip. And I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned till the next one. Sayonara.